What's up guys, Lou here, back with another video, and today I have something slightly insane to share with you. This is crazy, at least the craziest iPhone case I've ever seen. It is the Task Lab Task One 22 tools in one iPhone case. Let's go ahead, jump inside the box, and see what this thing can do as far as an iPhone case is concerned. Usually a case just does one thing, which is protect your phone from drops and scratches, etc. This is on another level. 22 tools in one case. Wow, it looks like some of the different tools are already expanded. <laughs> that is a sharp blade sticking out of this iPhone case. That's no joke. And you can control all of the different items from the back here. Wow. Okay. On the back here, you can see you've got pliers, uh, a kickstand, you can remove the knife, there's a knife release button, bottle opener, universal blade mount, Allen wrench, and screwdrivers. So the instructions for this thing are underneath this little covering. You can see there's an assembly wrench. Do not over tighten. It's never a good idea to over tighten. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're swapping your tires out. Don't over tighten. Don't under tighten either. Don't over tighten. Wow. Look at this massive <laughs> user manual. Whoa. Task one, your multi-tool, conquer your life. Whoa. Okay, so I have installed the task one onto my iPhone. Pretty simple procedure. You've got these two bolts on the bottom that need to be loosened and then tightened back up after you have the phone inserted. Once you've got this primary lock in the central location, you can start to test out the different functionality of the case. Uh, the first thing I wanna test is the bottle opener, which is on the bottom side of the knife portion. So it actually has two locks on it. It has the primary lock and then it's also got this auto lock probably because it's the most dangerous item in this case. So what you're gonna wanna do is slide over the auto lock and then you can go ahead and extend the bottle opener. Let's test it out. Oh, a convenient beer in the house. Perfect. <laughs> okay, the moment of truth. It looks like it's gonna function. I hope we don't have too much foam here. Oh, we definitely do for some reason. You gotta love live television. Okay, so there we go. It worked. The phone didn't get drenched. The floor did a little bit. <sighs> well, that was worth it. <laughs> did I get any on the table? No, we're good. We're good. All right, so there you have it, the bottle opener functions. And in order to put it back in, you just pull the auto lock back over and then you're locked back into place. And again, if you were gonna put this in your pocket, you slide over the primary lock and then it's definitely not going anywhere. You have two separate locking mechanisms that are holding it together and not allowing it to pop out in your pocket and stab you in the leg. Now the next one, uh, the most gruesome is the knife blade. And you'll see that, you see how it just slides down there? when you don't have that secondary lock on. So you push it up and push the primary lock over and then it's locked into place and dangerous. Look at that thing, that's nasty. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you have a saw blade on one side and then you have a knife blade on the other side there. That's pretty crazy looking. Now, what's the action gonna be like? I don't know, not the best obviously. It's, it's not gonna be as good as a, a real knife, but in a sticky situation, when you need a blade, you've got one and it's attached to your phone. I guess that's badass. Don't take this to school or anything like that, okay, people? And so putting it back down, again, slide the primary lock over, slide it down and then you'll see the auto lock, boom, snaps into place. So you can see there's a little trend here going on. Now, this also controls the screwdrivers, which are housed over here. So if you wanna use those, you just push this all the way over. You see it shot them out. Two little screwdriver attachments, they fit into the top here. Actually pretty nice. So, you know, if you're gonna do some screw driving, you're all set. Uh, on the bottom, there's another interesting tool. We have tweezers. This is the toughest one to get out. There we go. So again, kind of tight right now but that will loosen up over time as you you know loosen the spring. And you can see, look at that. Little tweezers, little pliers. I wonder what that grip's like. 
that's that's legit. That's squeezing my finger. <laughs> so, anyways, there you can see it in action. There we go. Okay, so it's an Allen key wire stripper type situation. If you have fasteners or something and you're in a tough spot where you don't have your toolkit with you, you have an alternative. So that's really how it goes. That's all the different tools in the task one. Uh, obviously, this is not for everyone. This, it's for a very specific type of person that doesn't want to be caught off guard without their tools. If you guys are interested in finding out more information, checking out the price for this thing, I will have a link down in the description, as I said before. Maybe this would be a cool gift for someone who always wants to have a tiny little set of tools on them at all times and is, is carrying an iPhone anyways. So I should test this out. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do with this case. Eat with it? You want me to have a, have a little steak? Cut an apple? I don't know. We tested the bottle opener. <laughs> All right, task one. Gnarly looking iPhone 5 and 5S case. Full details down in the description. Thanks as always for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you do end up buying one of these, like I said before, don't be stupid with it. It's obviously a weapon. Look at this thing. Don't hurt anybody or yourself. Later, guys. I'm a winner like a flock of birdies. I never rock the derby. You see the polo USA right on a hockey jersey. Every step that I take, man, making no man. Precision flow, man. Motherfucker, get with the program. Compare the Lord to no man moves. I never fake them. Or I like the YQ beef. You just mistake them. Pin with your eyes. Conquer your life. Whoa.